I guess I'm going to tell this story right off the top of my head. I haven't scripted anything. It's just something from my memory. Um, I don't know. I was pretty young when it happened, but I remember it clearly. And it was something that happened when I was first entered kindergarten at St. Stephen's Indian School. It must have been pretty young because this is one of my earliest memories. I remember all of my brothers and sisters leaving for the day and only my little sister and I were left at home. And I remember that. I remember my mom doing chores and cleaning up the house and all that and my dad going off to work. And I remember those very clearly. Uh, the days blend into sort of like one conscious experience that we were home all the time. My mom would clean and cook and uh, do other chores and my sister, little sister would nap for most of the day. I remember seeing her nap on the couch a lot. And then suddenly one day I got to go off with my brothers and sisters to school. And it was pretty exciting for me because um, there's this big build up to it because it was like my first day. And uh, I think it was uh, Miss Petro's kindergarten class, but because uh, it was the same classroom that I would go to a year later. But uh, what I remember most is that I was sitting there. I wasn't nervous at all. I was actually pretty excited. And uh, I made friends with uh, the kid that was sitting next to me. And uh, this is the first time I actually made friends outside of uh, my brothers and sisters whom I grew up with. And I always called them my first best friends. But um, I'll, I'll call this kid Jay because uh, I want to protect his identity. We were hung out there at the table and we were doing activities and uh, we we're talking to each other and he was really nice and he was friendly and it was like we we're getting, we set up to be best friends the rest of our school years together. And that's just how it seemed at that moment. And I don't know how long I was there. It could have been an hour, it could have been a week, but uh, I just remember one time sitting there and uh, this administrator or somebody comes to the door. Might have been the principal, I don't know. I, like I said, this is when I was very, very young. And the teacher walks up to him and they talk and they talk and then the guy points at me and says, um, come with me, you, you, you gotta come with me. You know, you're not, you're not supposed to be here. And that shocked me because I didn't wanna go. I was having such a good time there. And I had made a friend and um, no, I didn't, I must have stood up for myself because I, all I remember is that they had to drag me out of the class and I was yelling and screaming and crying that I didn't want to go because it felt natural for me to be there. And they dragged me home and I remember being put in this car and driven somewhere else. And it wasn't, it wasn't as traumatic as the kidnapping because I don't think it was. I remember they took me out to the Great Plains Hall where the Head Start was. And I remember on the back of it or the west side of it, there's this small red building there with the white window frames. And uh, I was taken in there and uh, the teachers were very cloying and overly syrupy when they, when they talk to kids of that age. And uh, I don't know if anybody else has noticed it, but when they talk to really small, kids they talk that you know very condescending very syrupy everything's got to be nice sort of way and I that struck me as phony right off the bat and I didn't like the place and they said come on join our activity you know you're, you're supposed to be here you're supposed to be here they kept reassuring me that I was supposed to be there and um, all I remember is that we were cutting out reindeers and everybody else was ahead of me because I had shown up in the day late and um, everybody was like painting and putting their little reindeer up, which was funny because uh, that shows you how long I must have been in kindergarten because they're getting up, putting up their Christmas decorations. And I was just sitting there not doing anything because I didn't want to be there. And they're trying to show me how to, you know, trace the shape of the reindeer and uh, how to cut it out. And so you can decorate it any way you want. And finally, I think I got past tracing it and cutting it out. And I just sat there and I didn't want to do anything because I didn't know anybody there. I didn't go back the next day. And uh, it was just another year of watching my brothers and sisters leave for school, watching my mother do her chores and her cleaning. 
and the cooking and watching my little sister nap. Now let's fast forward a year later when I finally can go to kindergarten and I'm back in that same classroom a year later. I meet uh, new friends. Well, not new friends, but I meet people who will be in my life probably for the rest of my time there on the reservation. Yeah, entering the hallways of the turquoise building with the really bright red doors and just uh, sitting at the... I think I preternaturally sat in the same spot that I did the year before. And then I ran into Jay. I don't know. I think it was like at recess or something. And he acted very angry and he didn't uh, act like he knew me. And in fact, through the rest of our time, up to maybe about sixth or seventh grade, he would be one of the kids that picked on me constantly at school. It was, I think it was about sixth or seventh grade I started to grow and got gotten taller than, than Jay, but I think Jay sort of remembered me from that time and because uh, during our high school years, um, he was actually pretty cool to me. In fact, when he was in eighth grade and I was in seventh grade, he used to sort of stand up for me sometimes and uh, he'd pick on me every now and then, tease me and joke with me, but uh, joke at me or make jokes of me. It's just uh, just shows how how much a year's difference can make in you know a person's personality, um, being away from somebody who you, you think can be a friend or not be a friend. And I wouldn't consider Jay a friend, uh, but we knew each other. We uh, like joined basketball in high school together. And we're on the same team, and he was pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, he he passed away during high school and um but i always remember that you know in our quiet times when we would be next to each other we just jaw we just talk about you know families and stuff and and um when then when he would get with his other friends he would really become you know a different person this person that would pick on everybody but he'd always make sure uh he wouldn't pick on me uh which i really appreciated which i which really made him a good cool person in my mind yeah, that's the story of me being sent to kindergarten way too early. I don't know if the rest of my family remembers this story or not, but uh, that's the story I remember. That's the mem one of my earliest memories. You know, that's the story of my uh, my youth. Um, back then, I didn't even realize who I was then. I was just another kindergartner. I thought that's how the world was. I had no concepts of, you know, being Native. Uh, being Northern Rappo, um, but you know, all those things would come in time and that's the story. <laughs>